welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is circular sentence so in this sentence we are having a list of words each separated by a single space and no leading or trailing spaces so you don't have to deal with that case and words contain only uppercase and lowercase english letters and the sentence is said to be circular if the last character of a word is equal to the first character of the next word and second condition is the last character of the last word is equal to the first character of the first word so if you take a look at this example, this is the string given to us. Let's check for the first case. The last letter of the current word should be equal to the first letter of the next word. So it applies for this case also. S and S are same. D and D is also same. Now coming to the second condition, the last character of last word should be equal to the first character of the first word. Since both the conditions satisfy for this example, this is a true case. So here you can see. This is the string given to us and we return true. Now let's take a look at this example and see how this question can be solved. I've taken the same example that I've given us. So this is the input given to us. Lead code exercises sound delightful. So we start off by converting the input string into an array. So after converting the input string sentence into an array, it will look like this. And now we have to check the length of the words array. If the length is greater than one, then we process it. If length is equal to one, then we check for the single word. For example, if there was only one word. Then we access the first character in that word and the last character in that word. We check if they both are same or not. Here they are not same, so we return false as the output. So if the length is greater than one, so we can process the input string and we don't have to deal with the words array. Now while processing the input sentence, we have to do two checks. We have to compare the last letter of the current word with the first letter of the next word. If they are same, we proceed further. Then this will become the current word. We check the last letter of the current word and the first letter of the next word. They both are same. We proceed further. Then this is the current word. We check the last letter of the current word and the first letter of the next word. They both are same. Then we proceed further. So that completes the first check. And now we do the second check. We check for the first letter of the sentence. If it is equal to the last letter of the sentence here they both are equal so we completed both the check if both these check pass then we return true and if at least one of these checks fail we return false now let's take a look at the java code and see how these steps are implemented coming to the function they've given us this is the function name and this is the input string given to us and the return type is boolean which means you have to either return true or false now as i've said we have to check for one edge case that if the sentence contains only one word so to find if the sentence contains only one word we are going to use the split method on the sentence if there is a space we'll split it into multiple words if there is no space entire sentence will be treated as one single word so here we are checking so if there is only one word then we have to check if the first letter and the last letter are same if they are same we return true and again we are checking if there is only one word and the first character in that word is not equal to the last character in that word then we return false so here we have handled the case where the input sentence contains only one word now this part is for checking if the input sentence contains more than one word now we don't deal with the words array anymore we can directly deal with the sentence so let's iterate through the sentence from the starting index till the end of the sentence and we move one character at a time so let's access the character at the ith index position so we start off with zero so if you take this example so this is the first letter we start with go from starting till the end and once you cross the last letter this for loop will end so i'm accessing each character at a time so you can find where you have to do the checking so once you find a space so we are accessing a space so once you find a space we are checking the letter left to the space and the letter right to the space so we are checking if the letter left to the space is not equal to the letter right to the space so this is the first check we are doing here now we have to do the second check that if the last character of the last word is equal to the first character of the first word so we are accessing the first character if it is not equal to the last character so if either of these conditions fail you can return false so this for loop will happen for all the test cases and if at any time you didn't return false which means all the conditions are satisfied until you reach the end you can come out of the for loop and it will return true now let's run the code the test cases are running like submit the code there you have it our solution has been accepted so the time complexity of this approach is o of n where n is the length of the sentence and the space complexity is also o of n because you are using a words array to split the input sentence you can also do it in constant space if you skip this check and handle it inside this for loop itself that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one